Welcome to another one of our Bluebeam Me Up How To tutorials, brought to you by Brighter Graphics Limited, where we show you how to maximize the potential of your investment in Bluebeam Review. Brighter Graphics are the oldest established Bluebeam partner and your premium Bluebeam solutions provider. Let's get started. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the visual search feature in Bluebeam Review. We can find visual search by clicking on the search function which looks like a magnifying glass. Click on Get Rectangle. Highlight the specific portion of the drawing on which you want to perform a visual search. This sink is a great example so let's draw a rectangle around it. Now we can see that it appears in our preview area. We can choose to search the entire document which includes all pages or we can just search the current page. Choose the sensitivity level as desired. Choose whether or not review should pick up the object if there are other lines on top of it. So if our sensitivity is low, the overall object will be found regardless of whether or not there are some grid lines passing through the object. If we set our sensitivity to high, then review will exclude certain results. To ensure that the search process picks up all installation of sinks, select the Search Multiple Rotations checkbox. This will make sure all sinks, regardless of their orientation, are found. Click the Search button. At the bottom of the search section, results are being populated and once completed the results will be shown in the Results subsection. All instances of the sink are listed in the Results section. You can click on each instance to see where it is situated on the floor plans. To select and highlight all of the results, scroll to the top of the results area and select the checkbox. Next to the checkbox is the drop-down menu. This is a very powerful feature present in review. We can turn all of our results into hyperlinks, which when clicked can perform other actions, such as opening a drawing specific to the sink. Underline selected. Options available in the drop-down menu are Mark for redaction. Apply count measurement to checked or the selected ones, all at once. Highlight checked. Squiggly selected. Strike through selected. Let's highlight all of them. Once the sinks are highlighted, they become part of the markups list. We can open up the markups list and select one of the sinks. In the markup list, you can add additional details to the selected items. For example, we can name them, Sync 1, Sync 2, etc. Now our sinks have become markups and we can use them in our markups list reports. Thank you for watching. We hope you found the video useful. You can visit our website, www.brightergraphics.com, for more videos in the How To, series and all things Bluebeam Review. We at Brighter Graphics, welcome your feedback to help us to improve.